All right. <clears throat> Whoa. Hello, chat. How's it going? Hopefully well. We're back. We are continuing, well, kind of continuing Metal Gear Solid. We finished playing it, but there's one thing left for 100%ing it. And that is to get the big boss or fox rank. I can get either. They both work for the achievement, but I'm kind of torn. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna go for the fox rank because the only difference, we talked about it uh, back when I was first like scoping it out. The only difference is that big boss is earned by playing on extreme difficulty and fox is earned by playing on hard difficulty. So it's doing the exact same thing. That's the only difference between the two. It's the exact same thing. Just because it's a challenge run, it's significantly easier if I do it on hard mode compared to extreme mode. So I think we're going to do it that way. Uh, anyway, there is one more complication compared to what I had thought before that I only realized earlier today, but we'll get there in a minute. Let me, let me get the game open and such. And then let me explain where things might go wrong, eventually. Oh, come on. There we go. I really need to replace the light bulb in that ceiling light that's out. It would just make my lighting so much easier. Uh, hold on. I'm pulling up the rank requirements real quick on my phone so that I can read them out. Why? Why is my mouse on the screen? Uh, but hello, Tass, Ryan, Dream Master, hello. Hot dish or Minnesota sushi? I've still never seen Minnesota sushi. Never seen it. You can't convince me it's an actual Minnesota thing. You can't. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow I, I, Moses like it, Island. Okay, I've got it. It genuinely is just like a pregnancy craving food. That's all it is. Um, so the complication here was that I thought like, oh, I'm gonna have like the camouflage and apparently the tuxedo. I thought I had to do a third playthrough for it, but I'll take it. Ah, there we go. Um, however, it needs to be done on hard or extreme difficulty to get the rank for the achievement. So we have to actually start a new game and not use the unlockable items. We're doing it. We're doing it fresh. There's no radar on hard mode either. Uh, and my OBS is bugged. God damn it, OBS. <laughs> I see it. We're doing it live. After I fix my OBS. I kind of, you know, in the back of my head, I was like, it might be. It would be on this computer, wouldn't it? It would be. Because now I'm going to have to restart my game. Of course. Hold on. Oh, it took a long time to boot up. It's good. Okay, requirements for the run. I can read them off of my computer now since I'm already out of the game. Um, it needs to be full playthrough. It needs to be complete in less than three hours. I have a three hour time limit on the run. I am allowed zero continues. So if I die at any point in the run, it's a reset. I am allowed four or less alerts. So if we hit four alerts, it's a reset. 
25 kills or less and 11 kills are just the bosses. So really, I get like about 10 kills for the entire run. One or fewer rations used. That, along with the no continues thing, is going to be a problem. Saves. There is a save requirement. Get this, you guys. It's going to be rough, but we have a limit of 80 saves. I don't know why that's a limit for the rank. I don't know who is saving more than 80 times in a playthrough of this game at all. This doesn't sound fun at all. This sounds like a great time. I don't know what you mean. Who's ready for speed runs? No death, no healing item speed runs. Who's ready? Because I'm ready. Which is definitely why this is snake. I took an extra long sippy of my drink. I am prepared. I don't even know why I'm grabbing this. There's no reason. I can't use it. At least not like any time early on. Save, screw up, and then load? I don't know. Who's that? You know, I think that's just, I, I think we just run it back. <laughs> I get four alerts for the entire game and I'm not the sneakiest in this game. I am not the sneakiest, so let's not do it here. Let's not use one here. Do it, coward? Nope. Nope. Now we're doing it. We're doing it live. Okay. We're gonna have to be a little slower. We're gonna have to be a little slower. Fox rank, big boss. The only difference between the two is I would have to play on extreme instead of hard. And since they both count for the achievement, I'm just gonna do it on hard mode. <laughs> I'm just not gonna make it extra difficult. Cause really the only difference is that the boss fights will be harder. But like the boss fights are where the deaths and stuff like that were gonna happen anyway realistically so yeah if i can do it on hard and achieve the same result we'll be fine we'll be fine okay he's not there suddenly no radar is <laughs> a lot worse than it sounded okay he's up there oh the puddle shit the puddle screwed me but now at least he's gonna go over there, right? And I'm gonna slip over here. And I'm gonna be in my spot. Yes, beautiful. It was the perfect plan. No hiccups in execution whatsoever. Perfect. To look further than the camera. Oh, for cameras, you mean? Good thing you grabbed that ration. I know, that's my one ration for the playthrough right there. <laughs> that one is the one that I am allowed. Was I supposed to accept the call? How long does this take? Because this is longer than I remember it taking. Am I supposed to take that call to like trigger it? Oh, it works. I was having a moment. Who's that? I'm not using one of the alerts in the docks. I just didn't think that that was a possibility, quite frankly. Need the MGS3 slam move? It, actually, it would be, well, aside from, uh, what's it called? Aside from alerts potentially happening from me, like trying to run up to people and use it. 
Uh, it would be overpowered for this. Because it doesn't... I'm not killing them. I'm just knocking them out. Because, like, this... There are no, like, knocking people out options in Metal Gear Solid 1. It's either you kill them, or you just... Uh, what's it called? You run past them. If you're trying to keep your kill count low, your your option is just to run by them, not engage at all. Oops, I didn't mean to call him back. Damn it, it doesn't have the sliding along the wall thing. I think this should be the perfect spot. Choke, release, wait, wait, wait. There's some sort of cheese where you can like keep them in the choke hold. Somehow. I wouldn't complain. Yeah, so taking the call does not speed this up. Good to know. I think this spot will be safe until the elevator comes down. If I was an elite soldier, what would my call sign be? It's a good question. In in Metal Gear, they're all animals, right? Or not all, but like in in Foxhound, they're all animals, right? Snake, ocelot, wolf, uh, octopus, raven. What would I be? Those are all taken. I can't take any of those. Those are all off limits, of course. Ah. Uh, okay, he's blind. He is also blind. And I'm out of here. See you, bitches. Okay, the docks. We're past the docks. Panda! Of course, I would be a panda. It only makes sense. It only makes sense that I would be panda. In honor of my tech and main. This is the only logical answer. Hello, Maker. Metal Gear Solid is good. We're doing the kind of big boss rank, but we're doing Fox because they both count for the achievement. It's the exact same as doing big boss rank, just doing it on hard mode instead of on extreme mode. So I'll take it. But red because you're ginger? I'm not ginger. Simply. I'm just not. Oh my god, no radar in Metal Gear Solid. Huh? Whose footprints are these? Okay, Snake. Don't don't so fail me with this. Camera? Okay. I think we're good. We are definitely good. Oh no, he he checks that corner, doesn't he? So maybe I want to like chill right here. Uh, okay, we're fine. I'm waiting for the guy up top to come by. Grab the item between the searchlights? Absolutely not. Nope. I get four alerts for my entire run. The later I can go without one, the better. Playing this way, it feels like I am not on good pace. Oh shit, there's the skip. Oh, we're so using it too. I saw a speedrun skip that's pretty early in the game that skips legitimately half of the run. It skips to the interrogation scene. It skips straight to the interrogation. I've seen it executed and explained once on a YouTube short. So surely I event skip, exactly. Surely I have the knowledge and the in-game execution to do it. I've seen it once. I'm sure I can figure it out. Snake. No. I'm speed running Miller, who's definitely Master Miller and no one else. But hello, Anakin. Did you have to finish it in five? It's in three. It's in under three hours. 
Which is why I'm like, man, like I've barely started and I already feel like I'm going too slow. Oh my God. If I go like the tiniest bit off axis with the thumbstick, it starts wiggling all over the place. <laughs> Got this, just the fastest vent crawling you'll ever see. The vent skip genuinely gets me through half the game though. So that's gonna be huge. It's gonna be massive. I don't need the call. I'm in. Um. You scare me. Stop calling. Oh, okay. You. There. Uh. This is the pistol, right? Hello, Jess. Being very sneaky. Very efficient. I think this is uh, the cannon speed for the game, of course. This is, this is lore accurate solid snake right here. Although I guess not. Lore accurate solid snake it kills like the majority of the soldiers he comes across, apparently. In this game, at least. That's unfortunate, really. Okay, well that's extra unfortunate. <laughs> That was a good attempt. Oh boy. Yeah, this is going well. You know, I think we get this in one stream. Clearly. This is so easy. This is gonna be a long stream. No. Because with every run, we learn a little bit, right? Every lap, we learn and we make progress. You gotta look at the bigger picture here. You gotta see the vision. If there is an achievement like this for MGS3, we are so boned, by the way. Bridger, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Try, fail, or wait. Yeah, try, fail, try again, fail better. Exactly. This, this, that's the process. I now know that I can chill behind this forklift and I'm like Investments did so well, it ate up my refund. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen to me. My investments are up like over the whole year. You're saying it worked the one time. Uh, why? Why did it not work there? I think it's because I wasn't stuck up against the wall. Dab your tears with dollar bills but the government just took his dollar bills. You don't understand. You don't understand, Jess. Mother. He, he was so much closer to me this time. Oops, that I just started on normal. This is. You can eat the ends bird in MG, you can what? You, can you shoot the bird and then it actually like drops as food? The guards also learned. The guards might not have as heavily set patterns as I thought. And if that's the case, The learning is going to take a little extra time. 
but the vent skip will come in clutch, surely, right? That's where we're gonna make up all the time. Okay. What I should be doing? Okay, so he's way up there this time. I should check before I try to use the puddle to lure him down. That That's how a smart person would do it, so that's how I'm gonna do it. Just looks between his sofa cushions and finds a thousand dollars. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna chill out, right here. Why can't I ever find 900 pounds? You're probably just not looking hard enough, to be honest. I also learned that uh, for people who saw the MGS3 video, apparently the arrow getting stuck in my arm for the entire second half of the game uh, is not a bug. Um, it's apparently intentional that if you take like enough time that the arrow damage heals on its own just with the regen, then like Snake's wound has closed with the arrow still in there, so it stays for the entire game. So now I know that when we play MGS3 on stream, I am not healing a single arrow during that fight. I'm going to become a human porcupine on the next run. Just so that everyone knows when we get there, we're doing that. No one can complain about it when I inevitably do. Get hit by all the arrows. I, I plan to just really, cause it was funny to have like one arrow. And I, I genuinely thought it was just a bug. But now that I know that you can just do it intentionally, cause it's a, it's an intentional feature. Oh my God, I'm going to have so many arrows stuck all throughout my body the next time that we play. 100%. Whose footprints are these? All right, the strat that I used here last time also worked well. Valence camera? So I'm just gonna do the same thing again. Even though this guy walks like right up here, <laughs> tracking my footprints, he's like, huh. And then right when he gets to the stairs, he's like, well, they must have disappeared. Surely footprints end. They vanished. They couldn't have gone up the stairs. <laughs> I'm making fun of him, but I'm glad because uh, if he did track me up the stairs, this would be a lot riskier every time. I got hit in the forehead because I was prone and Snake turned into a unicorn. Oh my God. I'm trying to think. I was gonna say, I'm trying to think like, where would it be funny to get an arrow stuck for the entire rest of your playthrough? And I swear that I did not think of any like 12 year old level answers to that. I promise. Not one. The PP. Uh, no, I never would have thought of that. No. Definitely not. I, I, my mind did not go there. In the knee, oh my god. <laughs> An arrow in the knee would be so good. That would be so funny. You guys would get so sick of hearing me say the, the Skyrim quote though, by the end of that run. The entire game, I would just be like, I used to be an adventurer like you. Just every character Snake has a conversation with, I wouldn't be able to help myself. I would be saying that shit constantly. What are the what are the faction standings ultimately? 
I think it's ghosts and werewolves that are, are coming down to it. I think one of the teams has one point this month. Genuinely. Remember when, when we were like, is four teams maybe too many? Will, will having four lead to a situation where there's like one team every wipe that just has no points? And we were all like, no, of course not. More teams, more fun. Oh, never mind. The least is 13. 13, I mean... I mean, it's not one point. The, the vampires are doing great this month, actually. Forget I said anything. They're doing fantastic. They could catch up. It's possible. Definitely. Oh, we go now. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Oh! He's... You guys are cruel for this. Oh, they're clamped now. I forgot about that. Took care of the vampires. They were going to catch up. They were clutching, okay? Going to do substance and subsistence? Um... I've thought about maybe doing Master Collection for two and three. Just to have the achievements built into the version that we're playing. And like widescreen and 1080, like it's not ideal, but it's pretty good. There's a strong convenience factor for sure with, um, with the Master Collection. I've said it whenever I've talked about it. Like, I haven't bought it. For me, I don't like what the Master Collection turned out to be. But, there, like I've always said, there's a lot of convenience to having, like, the first five games plus the NES, uh, like, the weird little NES continuity of those two games also included as a bonus. Um... So, like, maybe for those versions, because two and three, MGS two and three are the games in the collection that fare better. Like MGS one, I can't believe, like, I, I can kind of see what they were trying to do with MGS one in the master collection, but I don't get it because all it is, is emulation in the master collection they're just emulating the ps1 version but for whatever godforsaken reason they they hard capped it at 240p why i don't get it i don't get why i forgot i could skip it feels disrespectful to skip in metal gear i have to say but we're speed running here um I don't know why they capped the resolution at 240p. It's really strange. And also with two and three, I don't know why they capped the resolution at 1080 because clearly modern consoles and PCs can run PS2 games at, or in ultra HD resolutions. So I don't know why they, wait a second, how do I? Ah, I'm so, I'm boned. Yeah. Okay. There. That was a second ration. The run is dead. Um. I should have done vent skip before that anyway. I forgot. I shouldn't have been there in the first place. Yep. Dude. Dude. Um. Answer me, who are the Patriots? Lolly Lulelo. It's hard for me to remember. 
which uh, what order they go in. It, it's La Li Lu Le Lo, right? That's is that right? What's this current run's goal? Okay. To get the rank, we have to play on hard mode or above, which disables the radar, which makes the game very hard compared to normal. <laughs> Sneaking wise. Uh we have to get four or or less alerts for the entire playthrough. Uh, we have to do it in less than three hours. I can't die. And I can only use one ration for the this entire run. Snake. It's very restrictive, but this is the last thing for, um, for MGS1. And then I'll play Ghost Babble. Oh no, we have VR missions first before Ghost Babble. I forget. We have VR missions, which I never played actually for the reviews, so. That'll be fun in its own way, I think. Right, chat? Right? Any Metal Gear fans? Is, is playing all of the VR missions actually like genuinely fun? Or is it just kind of like a novelty thing and it's kind of a pain in the ass? Be honest with me. Be honest with me. What's happening again or shall I rewind? Uh, minimum hard difficulty run. I have to complete it in less than three hours. No deaths. Less than four alerts. I, I can kill like 10 enemies for the entire run. And I can only use one healing item for the entire run. Which version of three? I don't know yet. I'll either play um, Snake Eater or just the Master Collection, depending on if I bite that or not. Because I don't know if I'm going to, but like, maybe. There are some VR missions that are a pain. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You wouldn't do the Hollow Knight speedrun? I have the Hollow Knight speedrun. I have the achievements for 100% speedrun in Hollow Knight. You can kill 25. 11 of those kills are just the bosses of the game. The bosses count. So it comes out to like, my hard limit is 14 kills for the entire run. And let's be honest, like three of them are gonna be that one guy on the catwalk in the uh, Metal Gear Rex hangar. Did you? Yeah. The only thing I didn't do on Hollow Knight was the Steel Soul 100%. That's the only thing I'm missing to this day. It's snake. All Other than that, Will I did everything. This part, haven't failed this part yet. I feel good about this part. The docks are a little iffy and the hangar's a little iffy. The tank hangar, I mean. This part is perfectly fine. Huh? Whose footprints are these? I don't know. You should look at them. You should really give them a good look there. Surveillance camera? Shovel Knight? I don't think I would be into Shovel Knight. From what I've seen of it, I don't know if I would enjoy it. Oh, stun grenades. Stun grenades would be good. I can't knock enemies out, but I can blind them temporarily. Cameras are just a pain. There's just gonna be no way around cameras being a hazard that slows me down whenever they're in a room. A surveillance camera? Like, you shocked there is one? Yeah, it's only a uh, government weapons facility. Of course, they would not have surveillance cameras. Come on, Ryan. You think they pay for stuff like that? 
It's expensive. I'm in. Once again. In a top secret military base? Never. It can't be. To be fair, Snake is also Snake. shocked every time he speaks to a woman. So, I think he's just kind of a guy who's prone to being surprised, if anything. Best modern 2D platformers. That's kind of the thing, is I don't really like 2D platformers unless it's like Super Mario World. Like Super Mario World is like genuinely the only one off the top of my head that I'm like, yeah, I like that one. Did you say a woman? It's like when he's like, oh yeah, our, our new uh, data analyst for this mission, Mei Ling, and Snake's like, Mei Ling, a woman? And he's like, our weapons expert for this mission, Nastasha. Nastasha, a woman? Female guard. Every time that uh, <laughs> someone even mentions a woman, Snake's just like, what? Wait a second. Watch out for that. Was the text normal there, or did my uh, did my mod to fix the text break for a second? Yoink. We we will need one of these. Okay, this is the hard part. Like getting the pistol and all that. Actually, getting past this camera is also like the easy part. Getting down these stairs and into the elevator is where things get tricky. Although I'm gonna try a new strat and we're just gonna pray. Cause I'm just gonna fully send it right here. I'm not looking. The strat did not work. We redirected in real time. I was going to go through the front of the tank to crawl under it and hide here to wait. But then I saw the guy at like the last second. The first thing he notices about Meryl is her ass. He's horny too. It's true. Do I included Mega Man? I don't think it's on there yet. It might be. If it is on there, then it's just not getting many votes. It might be on there. I, the list is like 50 franchises long. So I don't know, but I, I might have put it on there. It's possible that I forgot to. Meryl Eva sandwich. Different snake, Ryan. Different snake. Eva, at this point, this game takes place in 2000... What year does this game take place in? In universe chat, someone help me out. It's early 2000s, but what year? Okay, so how does this work exactly? You, you, you come in here and then like, if you can stand up at the perfect point, do you crawl in backwards maybe? 2005? Oh yeah, yeah, that is right. 2005. So Eva would be like, 60 some at this point. Shut up. I'm trying to do a speed run glitch. You know, chat, maybe I need to uh, to watch how to do this real quick. Hold on. <laughs> I was like, I've seen it done once in my life and I might understand it. But no, let me just Metal Gear Solid. Vent skip. Let me just. Uh, Son of a Glitch, episode 12. Did anyone ever watch Son of a Glitch back in the day? This is old. This video is a decade old. Oh my God. Uh huh. Oh. 
Oh, there are inputs that I did not remember being a part of this. Son of a glitch is a decade old now, bro. I know. I just was like, uh, okay, we do this. We look up and then we're supposed to release and immediately stand. My, I don't have a radar, so this is harder than it would normally be. <laughs> Trying to find my way here blindly. First person. Oh, first person does help. For a second, I was like, it's, we're just going to be in the abyss. Okay. So I need to go to like that door somehow. I'm clearly up against some kind of boundary, or at least I think I am. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm totally free moving. Oh, that's the elevator. Okay. We want to go back that way. Oh, it's camera. Okay. It's based on the static camera, not where Snake is pointed. Oh, okay, I'm a little off, but I can see. Oh, success. <laughs> we did it. This is a crazy glitch. Looks like I got a roommate. Why is there a trigger for this cutscene behind that door? There's no reason for this to even be a thing. I don't understand how this glitch is possible because now we are halfway through the game just from that what a, what a weird bug or not bug just exploit the bug is that you can get i have my gun hey shut up shut up shut up in there will you they were never able to take my gear because oh my god what a weird bug Shut up your weapon. You can skip so much with the door triggers. Why? Why is that there? There's no reason to have like a trigger volume behind that door that activates this cutscene. It makes absolutely no sense that that's even a thing. How do I do this without alerting him? Or do I just have to like take an alert here and I'm just kind of stuck with it? Colonel huh? calls to just say snake. They move on. I'm definitely not under the bed. Don't look. Hey. Ah, shit. Uh, alert two, that was alert one. I was supposed to wait for Otacon, wasn't I? I don't have the key card. This was poorly thought out. Skip the guard rush? Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, indeed. There are three mandatory... Okay, wait. One of them is the guard rush, right? And we're skipping that. Because that's probably not including, like, skipping half the game, right? So I'm trying to just think through what are the three mandatory ones. Oh, I know what they are. 
It's the guard rush. It's tower A. And it's in the Metal Gear Ray hangar, or sorry, Metal Gear Rex hangar. Um, after you watch the cutscene and like you drop the key. Right? Those are the three. And we're skipping one of those using the vent skip. So watch the MGS3 video, banger, thank you. Watching it back this morning, I didn't watch it back in its entirety. I watched a good bit of it. There were definitely little things that I missed that I would have touched up, like tiny editing things that frustrated me that I was like, oh. But came out good, I think. Guard rush, escape. Oh, escaping the cell, yeah. So there's four. And four is the maximum allotted amount of alerts for this run. So it's just, you can't take any alerts outside of the mandatory ones. Although I'm allowed one since we're gonna skip one, right? So it's a little different using the vent skip. But normally it would be, you can't take any alerts outside of the mandatory ones then in that case. Crazy. Crazy. You can see the Sorrow's dead body in the river. Yeah, they, they, um, they spelled out the Sorrow's body in the river. I saw it at the beginning and I just kind of thought it was like random set dressing. But then later on in like that quick little like flashback scene, they like show that skeleton again. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. I thought that was a nice touch. There are some interesting codec calls for the boss fights. I got a couple of them. No, like, I'm trying to remember. I know I got one for the Fury. Will be monitored. I know that I called uh, Sigint just after that. Uh, what was the other one? I know that I got more than that. I'm trying to remember who the other one was. I think it was the end. I think I called right after the end as well. I still... I, I didn't find them as interesting as, or, or I guess not interesting, compelling as the, the stuff in like MGS1 with Foxhound. Cause I feel like Foxhound, it, it feels like personal. It feels like there's emotion behind it in all of those scenes. Um, In the MGS3 codec, uh, codec calls, it kind of felt like it was just pure lore right like just kind of this happened and then that happened did you already know how to get past the sorrow no oh someone asked i don't know if i replied to that comment shit because i was reading through them and then i went back through to reply and i think i might have skimmed over it someone did ask like how many how many times did you do the sorrow fight before you realized how to get past it the answer is a lot the answer is a lot that was you! I see it. I see it. Oh, I replied to you and I missed a lot. <laughs> like maybe three or so. Did this guy already come by? Yes, he did. While I was looking at my phone. What system? Uh, PC. This is the PC port from uh, 2000. Which, thankfully, you can still buy on GOG. It's weirdly the only older Metal Gear Solid PC port that they still sell. Actually, that's not true. They sell the original Metal Gear port still, and they sell this one. The MGS2 port got delisted. Uh, I guess Metal Gear 2 never had a Western port. I think MGS3 had a straight PC port. I'm not 100% on that. If it did, it's not available anymore. 
I don't know if it did though. I know for a fact that MGS2 had one and that it's delisted though. You can't buy the original, cause I was going to use that version. Like when I was first looking at like, okay, what version of every game am I gonna use? Um, I came across the fact that like the PC version of MGS2 is supposed to be the best version, but it's no longer available for purchase. Apparently it's something to do with some of the uh, historical footage that they used in the game, like they lost the copyright licensing for, but that doesn't make any sense to me because they still like just sold uh, the master collection. And unless I just don't know, I doubt that they changed the footage. They might've, I never heard anything about that if they did. But apparently the stated reason for it being delisted is that they lost the licensing for some of the old like historical footage so they could no longer commercially sell that version. But like, it just doesn't make sense. Oh, they did change it. It pulled the, oh, okay, never mind. They did change it. What do you know? I did see that Elden Ring is back to like the top five best sellers on Steam this week after the DLC announcement, which is insane. Cause that game already sold a ton. And then all they had to do was announce that there's a DLC coming in like four months. And now it's a top seller again. Like people are buying it now if they didn't buy it a couple years ago. Oh, the company that owned the original footage. No, oh my God. So it's footage that's just like the rights are gone. Like no one owns commercial rights to it anymore. Speaking of copyright, it's not, I talked about yesterday that I had to render out the MGS3 video two times because of a copyright thing. But one of my biggest frustrations right at the end of working on that video is I wanted to use the instrumental for uh, Way to Fall. I'd never heard the song Way to Fall before MGS3, by the way. Uh, and I wanted to use that instrumental and I figured that it was original music for the game when I heard it on the soundtrack, but then I went to go find an instrumental version of it and I realized that it's not and that it's a licensed song. And I was like, dude, that would have been so good. I wanted to use that track um, for like the scene where Snake goes to the boss's grave. That was where I was going to put it in the video. And I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. Shit. How did I get it first try before? And I was so pissed when I found out that it was a licensed song and I would not be able to use it. Great song. Shit. Imagine if they put it on sale. No, they wouldn't. How did I get this first try before? Star Sailor, thank you. I hadn't heard of them in general. Yes. We're in, boys. You did talk about Mikkel's mom. I talked about everyone's mom. Someone, uh... Someone commented and was like, bro, first the whole COD lobby, now you. My mom's been busy. And I, I thought about replying. I was going to be like, not as busy as me. You know how many moms I had to go through to make that joke? Honestly, I might go back and still say that because I thought that was funny. I don't know why I didn't reply that. You're pretty good. Cool. The, uh, I feel like MGS3... Like, MGS1 has a lot of funny lines, but when I was playing MGS3, I was like, this game seems like it has the most meme potential of the series so far. There were so many moments where I was just, like, dumbfounded by things that were done or said during my playthrough. One of them that I have made a meme out of was the crotch grab. When Volgan just walks in and grabs Snake by the dick, I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> I was so caught off guard by that. 
I couldn't believe that that had just happened. Uh, there's you're pretty good. There's Ocelot meowing throughout the entire game. There's a lot. There, there were so many things that I was like, this is such good meme potential. I can't believe I still have my gun. This is like the funniest part of this glitch. Kojima, I, I actually read this recently. When I was doing the research, I found this fun fact. That uh, he misheard the uh, the band name that was recommended to him. And that's the only reason he found that song in the first place. Did I say Bacana? Thank you for the sub. Is that? I'm going to go with Bacana. I'm going to go with it. Shoot. I've never heard him say that before. Where's Os I, I almost said Ocelot. Otacon. Ooh, ad break? Ad breaks are fun for everyone. Otacon's just wasting my, my three hour time limit here, man. Realistically, I'm trying to think. Beyond this point, like, I have to get out of here. And then I guess I have to, like, go around and just grab items for a minute. Like, a few minutes, probably. Just kind of run through everything. Because I'll have the level 6 card, so I, I literally can go and grab every item in one quick run around. Um... And then Tower A and B... Sniper wolf fight. The the fight at the end. Like the or the whole like climax sequence, right? There definitely is a resemblance. It. Don't you think, little brother? Or should I say big brother? Press the Wait, if you keep punching the wall, it speeds it up. I have no health! You you win. <laughs> I have no health! Had enough. What the fuck? So, you're human. I haven't killed any of the bosses. The torture will stop as I promised. Joe, thank you for the I'll stuff. Take the woman I don't time. have any... Uh, oh have my god. With her, I never thought about that. No. I hope you can still look at oh, yourself. Oh, I'm gonna have no health friend. using this skip. I think it's ultimately worth it going for the rank, right? Oh, but that's gonna be such a bitch later on. I'm just thinking about it, and I'm like, I'm barely gonna get any health boosts. Yeah, I caught a cold. That and then... She took my clothes. Wait, your health goes up as you pass the boss locations? That'll work. Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up! I would like to announce that I have now lost my gun. After going in for an interrogation, in there, I actually lost it this time. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No. Shut up in there, will ya? I hear that this speeds you up, apparently. Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up! Shut up! I'm on a speed run, man. Shut Come on. There, Go to the bathroom. Shut up! Go! All right, where's my boy with the camouflage? I need that level six card and the ketchup. Ketchup is nice. Although if I use the bed, I think I could get him without an alert, potentially. It speeds up, it speeds it up because he doesn't do his sneezing pattern. Oh, so he still has to like walk around. Hey, I'm here. Where? But without the sneezing, do I play in the ketchup or hide under the bed? I'll. I, I typically like the ketchup trick more. Oh jeez. But it's I think if back. I go under the See bed, I might be able to avoid the alert Wait. here. I just have to be. I have to be quick with the execution. That cloak FPS drop. Yeah, there's a bug in this PC version. I think it's because of multi-core CPUs. That's like the only thing that I can think of. 
Um, but when you play this port nowadays, you get crazy frame drops when there's the huh? optical gone. camouflage on screen. I think it it must be because of multi-core CPUs. That's the only thing I can imagine. Because back when this came out, that wasn't a thing. My CPU now is split between 32 cores. And I just don't think the game is like made to actually use that sort of hardware. Ha ha! It worked! Oh, all right, now we're gaming again, you guys. We're, we're back in it. Progress is being made. In real time, we're getting somewhere. Kill Johnny, bitch deserved it. Silent Hill 2 original PC port has a, a lot of older PC ports from around this time do. Oh, I don't have chaff for these. Oh shit. They don't trigger an alert, but they hurt like a bitch. I shouldn't have done that. Wait, what? Isn't this Johnny? Okay, there's nothing here. I, I shouldn't run by the turrets at all the way that I did. I just get shot for no reason. He lives? Yeah, he's fine, you guys. Uh, sorry, someone just asked about a time paradox thing in MGS3. What is it? Okay, that scared the shit out of me. I'm so boned. I'm so boned. I'm so boned. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> the wall is intact. Uh, my health didn't go up. Should I be worried? Nothing in this one. I gotta just learn like what I have to run through and what I don't. Oh, it triggers after Raven? Wait, Raven? Are you telling me when I run outside? Is that what you mean? Like after where the tank would have been? The tank battle, okay. No snake. I've seen what that does and I don't like it. Huh? <laughs> Full? When did I get those? Wait, does it give you that shit when you grab Snake's gear? Does it give you a FAMAS and a PSG-1? Whoa, I saw the, the shadow there. Oh God, getting back to the... Shit. There goes my other alert. I can't go this way. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm already healed. Oh, no. Okay, so we don't have to come down here at all then. Wait, I might be fine. I'm not dead yet. Don't count me out until I'm out and all that. Whatever the, the saying is. Who's that? All right, that's a one alert too many though. That was it. I was not careful enough. All right, this time, have I saved? No, okay, wait, can I load a save? Is that something that I'm allowed to do? 
Because I can't use continues, but I'm allowed to save like up to 80 times. This is snake. So is loading a save fine? Save after the glitch. Aren't there three? There's two. Uh, I, I skipped the alert from escaping the cell that time. So now I know. Now I know that I can do that. Loading a save is fine. I assumed it wouldn't be, but this is valuable knowledge. I forgot to set a timer for Chulwig. No. Now I'm on it. All right, we're just, we're running straight for it. Thank you for the 6 9 Chulwig Panda Snake has entered chat. Panda Snake? No, no, no. Chul. It's not Panda Snake. Okay, I do have to sit up against the wall or just in the other crevasse. Okay, being able to save actually makes this so much easier. I thought it had to be done like cleanly. It is now panda snake? No, it's you get one animal. You get like an objective, like a like a. Or I guess sniper is a noun, but one animal. People have gotten the big boss and fox emblem with well over 80 saves. No one knows what the actual limit is. Is there just no save limit on these ranks for some reason? Bro, I'm gonna save after like every milestone. Like now that I know we can do that, you don't understand. We're about to actually save scum through this. That makes this way easier than it should be. Cause like, okay, I have to play perfect like one time through every room and then I can just save and I'm fine. Hello, Tidbit. I'm surprised that Ham is winning question of the day. I only just realized that. A lot of ham enjoyers in chat today, huh? I feel like normally everyone is like, oh, turkey better. A lot of ham enjoyers. Ham is good. I think I generally prefer ham to turkey. I, I like ham because like it's 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 a little sweet, right? You know, it's like, turkey is kind of just like really dry chicken. And I know there's like, if it's dry, you did it wrong. My family has always just clearly done it wrong when it comes to like Thanksgiving. Because when I think turkey, I think it's just kind of like extra dry chicken. Like, that's generally what I think of. If I speak, I may be in trouble. What, you don't like ham? Hope to see you play the MGS remake. Hope they don't mess it up. I definitely will. I, the thing is, like, I don't know if it's going to get a video depending on... Like, we need to know more about it. Because from where I'm looking, or from where I'm sitting right now, like, I went back and rewatched the technical showcase. And at least from what they showed there, like, the level design seems to be unchanged. We know that the Their script own. and the voice acting Obi is going to be completely unchanged. They're just pulling all the old voice recordings from the original game. Like, they're not even redoing the voiceover or anything. So I think it's just going to be a straight remaster of MGS3. But I don't know. I would really like if it was more of a... Like, even if they... You could keep, like, the level design and the voice acting and all that. But it would be great if they went back and did like some quality of life stuff. Like maybe with the backpack system or something. I don't know. Because I feel like the cure system and the camouflage system are kind of like... If you keep them in there at all, like they're just kind of foundationally flawed. And it's, you know, we wouldn't want to remove them. Like they're really core to why MGS3 is MGS3. 
Like, yeah, the menu stuff is annoying, to me at least. I know that it's like to each their own. I found it annoying, needing to pause the game so often. But like, it seems like it's gonna be pretty much a one-to-one. -one. I think it's just gonna be a remaster. Since some of the voice actors are dead now. Oh. But yeah, at least from that trailer, like guards are in the same spot. Like you can like, at least for me, like immediately after playing the game and then going and watching it again, it's like, yep. I now recognize every location that they show here and they're all like exactly as they were. Right, they haven't changed the level geometry or anything. You're not getting frustrated flipping through the menus on MGS3, you're not playing it right. A lot of people said that it didn't bother them. And I do think it's like, yeah, some people might just not be bothered by needing to pause the game so much. For me, I'm I'm a very big gameplay guy, like over everything else in games. Like the gameplay is the most important thing to me. So needing to constantly pause the game and interrupt the gameplay to like change my camo so that my gameplay is then like reaching its peak, like if that makes sense. Like in order to get the best gameplay, I need to pause the gameplay for like 10 to 20 seconds constantly. The menu it is the gameplay. <laughs> yeah, flipping through the menus is the game. So it's kind of weird in that sense, where it's like to make the gameplay better, you need to actually pause the gameplay constantly. And it just, it feels really obnoxious to me, but I can see how some people are like, eh, I don't mind it. And it's definitely one of those things that like, the more that you play it, the more you probably just grow accustomed to it and you stop even thinking about it. RE4 attache case. Like that's the thing with RE4. I spend so little time actually organizing my case until I actually need to, because I just don't want to do it. It's like how I, I mentioned in the video, right? That when I played MGS3 re last week for the video, I just got to a point like an hour in where I was like, all right, I'm kind of done with this whole flipping through camos system. I'm just gonna like go with what's generally the best for the area I'm in. Like I'll change it every 10 to 20 minutes. And that's it. Cause I just very quickly was like, eh, I don't want to do this shit. Menu gear solid pause eater. It's a lot of menus in MGS3, definitely. Splinter face paint. I used splinter face paint for like almost the whole game. The only time I didn't was like during the end fight. I think I put like the woodland, uh, the woodland face paint on just because I was hiding in the grass or laying down for like almost the whole thing. Uh, and when it was nighttime, I would put on the black face paint. But other than that, I had, is it splinter? I thought it was splitter. Whatever, I had that on for like almost the whole game. Like, I think every cutscene in my video just about, I have that face paint, eh, face paint on. It's not because that's just his like actual design. It's just that's the face paint I had on the entire damn time. That's what I was wearing, like, the whole game, pretty much. It is Splitter, okay. Seems like the bosses are better when you do them non-lethally. I can see that. Slash me, good code. I, I have no idea who wrote that. Who scripted this bot? They clearly don't know what they're doing. Slash me. God damn it. Well, hello, Augustine. Oh, hold on. Okay, hold on. There we go. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. I have to like find that kind of optimal spot where I'm like just about to have the camera go in. And then we go for the. Yeah, there it is.
That was some smooth void walking, if I do say so myself. That was pretty good. Same person who mucked up the timers. The timers are just broken. That's not even my fault. Shut up. Shut up. Shut there, up. Oh my god. Not Shut cool up. wig. Why? Oh. Oh. Oh Why cool wig? Oh, damn it. Save after torture is a very good idea. How has Chol already like finished the energy drink of the day? This water's not gonna last another uh, more than two hours. It's just not. Chol's gonna need a water break at some point today. Shut up in there, Drinking? Uh, Zoa. The rock energy Shut drink. Shut up, shut up, shut up. It's good. Takes a little, like when, when Chol first started drinking it, Chol did not like the taste, but now Chol is used to it. Deep Cholts, I don't know what that even means. Keep this pace up and you'll have the deep Cholt emblem. What is deep Cholt? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Maybe if I walk a little. Okay, so we don't Shut have to go there, into the basement like at all. Shut up in there, will ya? Lock Shut your up. doors, giving MGS3 a lower score than two. And one. Shut up. And one. Shut up. Shut up in there, will ya? Never completed it. Snake. The next one is Acid, yeah. Acid 1 and 2 are back to back, actually, for the next two in the series. Okay. The, circle. the greatest speedrun strategy of all. Watch this. You, you win. <laughs> <laughs> that was so. So that was so fast. That was so fast. The torture will stop as I promised. But I'll take the woman in return. Acid games are I'll underrated. Have fun with her. Chol has gotten a good few comments no. being like, please do not play Metal Gear Acid. It's terrible. But we did Snake uh, Snake's Revenge. So we're fine. my clothes snake wasted no time oops not master kind of master mailing mailing i didn't even touch the button you ruined this place of fun shut up shut up shut up shut up uh, Troll is very interested in the acid games, though. Because, like, just the concept of a Metal Gear, like, correct me, or correct Troll if he's wrong. Sorry, caveman mode and all that. Um, correct Troll if he's wrong. It's a turn based card game. Right? Oh, Hold on, Chol is checking the release order real quick. While waiting. Uh, so the next three reviews are... Acid, Acid 2, 
and portable ops for Metal Gear, that is. Purely for Metal Gear. Troll is not saying that those are just the next three videos because Ace Combat, we are within like the last three or four? Troll doesn't remember. Three or four hey, Ace Combat I'm videos. Here. Where? So, at some it's point, relatively soon, it will just become Metal Gear every oh, week. Geez. God help He's me. Back. Um, See you later. But. Wait. There we go. No Peace Walker. Uh, Peace Walker is way down the line. Peace Walker is after MGS4. Peace Walker is between MGS4 and uh, Rising. He's gone. That, that Rising review is going to be something. Someone on the video today, like one person was just like, ah, oh, yes, one step closer to revengeance. And I was like, oh, yeah, we're having fun. You know, Rising is a is a silly game. Yes. This should not be allowed for doing the high ranks, but now that this is allowed, this is what we're doing. She took my clothes. Portable Ops is a masterpiece. So many people never played it. Troll has mostly heard that people don't like it. Like not even like, oh, I haven't played it. Like I've just heard a lot of like, Portable Ops is bad. I always forget how new that game is. It's 2010, which in terms of Metal Gear is like near the end of it, right? Oh, and to say it again, I've said it a lot, like over time, but just so that everyone is on the same page, like this early on for way down the line. Yes, we're doing Metal Gear Survive. We're doing it. We're going to. I think it works. It does work. I did it last time. Ew, we're doing it. It's gonna be a good time. We're doing it and everyone's going to love it. Okay? Good. Glad we're all on the same page. We're all gonna have a good time talking about Metal Gear Survive. We're doing it. We're doing it. Let's go. The best part is that it's going to be the last video, right? It, it is going to be the last video. <laughs> like, that's the note that we're going to oh, end geez. on. <laughs> He's coming back. And like, at the end of the MGS5 video, I'm going to have to be like, Wait. you guys, I know that a lot of you think that we're done. We're not. <laughs> we have one more still. I think people just assume Portable Ops is bad because Kojima said it's partially non-canon. There does seem to be a lot of that. I, I got a couple... I've gotten comments on, like, each of the non-canon games so far with people being like, why are you playing this? It's not canon. I'm like, it's a game. Like, they made it. It exists. Sure, it's not canon, but, like, it's there. How did I do this the first time? Was my timing just, like, immaculate the first time? Delta will be. Delta doesn't even seem to be close to release currently. So it'll be like the last video for a while. There will definitely be a gap until Delta comes out. Snake's Revenge. Yeah, we did Snake's Revenge. We did Ghost Babble. We did those already. Snake's, Re uh, Snake's Revenge was hilarious because it was the second video in the series. <laughs> So it was just immediately like, ah, oh, we've started the series. Now we're playing Snake's Revenge. I didn't know going in that it was a bad game either. I went in totally unprepared for that. I just got a comment four minutes ago saying Portable Ops is canon. I don't care what Kojima says. Like, I opened the app. I was like, this is a good time for comments, maybe. Oh, 
We've seen Delta on the store page for games coming in 2024, but I don't think that really means anything. It, re it doesn't. Like, until we get, um, like, a trailer where they say that it's coming out this year, or we just get, like, a straight-up release date, I, I wouldn't trust any of anyone talking about, like, a release window for it. Hey! I'm here. Because they can list it just being like, oh yeah, we kind of plan to have it out this year if it's we me. can, but a lot of times, oh, geez. He's coming back. like the reason they Slider. haven't said that in a trailer is because they're unsure wait. if they'll be able to. So I would say like, just wait until Konami like straight up in advertising is like, it's coming out around this time. Then you can be like, okay, it's coming out around that time. As long as I'm just watching you play survive and not playing it, then I'm okay. <laughs> huh? He's gone. Will you play potential remakes for the other games? Probably. Uh, um, like with Armored Core, because we did one a few, we did a review series a few months ago where I played every Armored Core game for the first time, right? Uh, like currently, as far as Armored Core goes, I'm in the spot of like, as soon as anything comes out for Armored Core, Expect that I'll do a video on it, like, right after. And Metal Gear and, like, Ace Combat, really just anything I've done a series for, I would generally be like, yeah, if, it, if something comes out, then assume I'm going to do a video. Um, I'm not sure, like, the only thing with Delta is depending on how much does or doesn't change, um... It may not warrant getting a full video of its own because my suspicion currently is that it's just going to be like a straight one to one remaster where they don't really change anything. And if that's the case, like, yeah, I could sit there for like five minutes and be like, you guys, the game is really pretty now, but that's like, it's just not interesting, right? So if that's like what ends up happening where it's purely a visual upgrade, then I probably won't do a video. Uh-oh. That is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to, like, slip into this corner. Hoping for Metal Gear 1 and 2. If they did, like, Metal Gear 1 and 2 as new, like, 3D games, there's so much potential for that. Because even with, like, the game... Like, there being no new Metal Gear games in so many years, and, like, fans are just kind of starved for content. Like, I feel like a lot of people now are finally going back and playing Metal Gear 1 and 2. Like, a lot of people who didn't before. Um, but, like, there's still definitely a sizable group of people who just... That's not a game that they're going to enjoy, so they haven't done it yet. Also, there goes one of my alerts, unfortunately. Delta is on Unreal, I think. Ah, uh, I think that is right, isn't it? Aren't they doing Unreal 5 for it? I don't remember, actually. But I vaguely remember hearing that, so I think you're right. I don't know how to get around this guy. Pretty sure it's UE5. It looks like it could be. At least when I look at it, I see a lot of like typical trademark Unreal stuff. Makes sense. They shut down the Fox engine because nobody at Konami knows how to work with it. It's being made with UE5. Yeah, when you say that, it definitely makes sense to me. It does have a lot of, like, trademark Unreal stuff visually. Fuck me. Alert number two. That's my last one that I can afford outside of the mandatory ones. Although we're safe scumming, so... Mine detector isn't necessary. Mine detector is the only thing that I got from this runaround and three chaff grenades. Let's load the save. I took two alerts and I got nothing out of it.
And those were my only two alerts, because there's two mandatory ones, so we're just gonna... I should probably save after getting out of here with no alert. Because this takes a while, and the execution on snapping Johnny's neck is kind of weird to try to get this without an alert. So once I get it, I should have saved afterwards. So sad. Well, I mean, a lot of those engines that are like super ahead of their time tend to be really hard to work with. Because the thing, at least in my experience, I find that um, proprietary engines seem to be super easy to work with or super ahead of their time, and there's no in-between. Like, the engineers who put those things together uh, either have the skills to, like, make it really, really crazy for the time, like, just way ahead, or they have the skills to make it easily usable, and they seem to never share both. For whatever reason, I don't know why that is, but, like, Frostbite Engine is also notoriously hard to work with. And people might remember, what was the first Battlefield game that used Frostbite? Was it Battlefield 3 or was it 4? I don't remember. Does anyone know? Does anyone actually know that in chat? What was the first Battlefield game on Frostbite? Hey, here. Where? Because regardless, like Battlefield 3 looked good for its time. Battlefield it's 4 me. looked incredible for its time. Oh, jeez. If you go back. and look at gameplay of Battlefield 4, and you look at that, and you're like, this came out in 2013. The game looks really damn good. And then somehow 2042 came out looking how it did. I said what I said. I really wish that 2042 had been better. Like, genuinely? Bad Company? No way Bad Company was Frostbite. Was it actually? <laughs> he used Frostbite 1.0? Well, damn. I guess it must have. I didn't think they started using it that early. I mean, Bad Company for 2008 looks great. Clearly, Battlefield 4 is where they figured out how to use it, and they had, like, hardware to make things look really nice along with that. That was definitely a factor. Did I play Battlefield 1? Yeah. I've played most Battlefield games. I've played almost all of them trying to think like I didn't play I didn't play Battlefield Vietnam I haven't played Battlefield 2 I haven't played mostly the older ones anything like post bad company I've played without fail and on that note uh, let me just put out there for the record are, are the lasers going to be here? No. Um, that Battlefield 5 was always good. Save. Thank you. Because I would have forgotten. Didn't you get stealth camo? I did. However, in China, they... I don't care what they say in China. I'm speed running right now. Um, since this has, since this rank has to be done on a higher difficulty, uh, I had to start a new file. So we have to actually play normally. Uh, my plan was entirely to use stealth camo to make this so much easier for myself. Hardline, weirdly enough, was my favorite. I liked Hardline too, but like it's still, I don't understand it to this day, how much hate Battlefield 5 got. Cause like, sure, historical accuracy was not priority. But, like, no one cared about historical inaccuracies when everyone was running around with SMGs in Battlefield 1. No one gave a shit. So I don't know why when Battlefield 5 came out, that was suddenly, like, the number one priority for a Battlefield game. Uh, Because the game was really damn fun. 
like it still is to this day if you go play battlefield 5 if you've never played it and you like the gameplay in general like you'll probably have a good time because the game was just a blast had great gameplay It kind of sucks that, like, Battlefield 5 was genuinely great, but it was one of those games that was just, like, the core audience immediately wrote it off, and, like, word of mouth was that it was bad, so no one bought it outside of, like, the core Battlefield audience. It just... The game got totally screwed by the community suddenly, like... Like, on a random coin flip, seemingly really cared about historical accuracy in their Battlefield game. I don't have the box. Um, shit, I don't have the box. Okay. This guy won't see me. I don't think he's going to see me either if I sit down here. Maybe. Maybe. These, I, I do have to go down to B2 to grab a bunch of stuff. Box 2 not in this room? I don't know. I don't know where the hell the boxes are, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know where they are. I don't need them. I'm just, I'm used to doing that room with uh, the boxes. Oh. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. I need the Nikita. Wait, now I don't have... I do need to go down to B2 of the first building. I need to go down to the armory. Now I don't have my PSG1. God damn it. My last save is actually back in the first building still, so this works, but like what? Oh, please. Okay, thank you. So I guess I need to go down here, and then the game suddenly is like, oh, the player should have this stuff at this point. Or more realistically, I probably have to go, like, run over the PSG1. That's when I noticed that I had it before. So is that what I need to do? Who's that? How many saves you have left? Oh, like 78. There's no save limit, seem apparently. The listed save limit, like when you look up the chart, says that you get 80 or less. But apparently a lot of people who have done these ranks have saved more than 80 times and still gotten them. So they seemingly just don't really have a save limit, maybe? That's my... <laughs> interpretation here is that we can genuinely just save scum the entire thing take some of the fun out of it a little bit but at the same time imagine how long this would take if like every one of these mistakes was actually reset the run and do everything from the top like back to the docks i'm kind of thankful that we can we can save scum it like this in a way maybe it's loads i don't know Shit. <laughs> I slipped right around the corner. MGS1, like, I I know why they added the thing in MGS2 where you can use the triggers to slide along the wall instead of the thumbstick only. Because holy shit, am I bad at sliding along the walls. God damn. Am I gonna do Castlevania series? I think it's on the list. Someday, probably.
I don't have like specific plans for it, but eventually. Okay, yeah, Nikita spawns in my inventory when I run over ammo of it, because the game is like, oh, you're supposed to have Nikita. So yeah, I do have to still run through these rooms real quick. Try not to go over 80 saves anyway. Yeah, probably a good idea. But I've seen the DSP, uh, Dark Side Phil DSP? No. I only just played MGS3 for the first time uh, a week ago. This is the PSG room, right? Yes. There we go. But from what little I've seen of Dark Side Phil, I'm sure that that is something. Is a god Metal Gear gamer. I find the, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? The prevalence of figures like Dark Side Phil or like low tier god so interesting on the internet because no one likes them. But because no one likes them, like because everyone dislikes them so much, they end up like enabling these people to do the exact thing that the people hate watching them apparently don't want them to do. It's really weird to me. I've never really understood the phenomena of uh, what's it called? Lol cow, I think is what like Reddit and stuff calls it. I don't know. I'm not on Reddit. Lol cows, yeah. That, uh, that was the right term, clearly. I did not pick up thermal goggles. Like, I know where the lasers are, generally. Once you've seen them a couple times, you don't need the goggles in here. I think I heard one walking up there just now. Have you ever watched a bad movie just to laugh at it and make fun of it? It's basically that, I guess. But like... Yeah. Low tier God is more understandable than Dark Side Phil to me. Because it seems like people actually enjoy low tier God. Chark? That's how I'm saying that. Thank you for the sub. I definitely said it right. Definitely said it right. Um, Like, low tier god I get because he spawned a meme. Right? He spawned multiple memes, actually. It, it's much easier to understand how low tier god has, like, made a career out of it. Dark side Phil, like, I... It doesn't seem like anyone likes him or like the people who go there just to like fuck with him. It doesn't seem like they want him to be successful. I don't know. That's the vibe that I get at least. I don't get it. Be careful. Something about a DSP's approach to Metal Gear. What kind of approach? Now I'm actually curious. What? How does he play a Metal Gear? CIA org? Oh shit. It can't be. Who would win in a fist fight? Samus or Master Chief? Master Chief. Definitely. Master Chief lore-wise has way more feats. And even just like purely on the basis of, uh, what's it called? Uh, how do I word it? Purely on the basis of 
I guess what Chief is, like there is zero chance that Chief loses that fist fight. Because Chief canonically, like I, Master Chief is one of those characters who's like comedically overpowered. Has no reason to be as strong as he is. And I swear to you, the writers know what they're doing. They just make him that absurdly strong just to be funny. I, they have to. There's no other logic to it. Armor the weight of the car. Yeah, the armor that he wears is like 3,000 pounds or some shit like that in that ballpark at the very least. It's also biologically modified. She does not run at 60 miles an hour with 3,000 pounds of armor on her. We're talking that level of just pure muscle strength with Chief. He does canonically run, I think it's more like 80 miles per hour. I, I think that's like how fast he's supposed to be able to run. I don't remember the number. It's something ridiculous. It's something ridiculous. Samus would lose the first encounter along with all her gear, but when she comes back, she'll win. Maybe, maybe. I feel like it's kind of plot armoring, but like, hasn't seen the speed booster? The speed booster is a technological enhancement. We're talking, Chief is just strong enough. His muscles, his bones are strong enough to run at that, that speed with no boosters in the system just because he's that built. It's a fist fight? Yeah, yeah. I'm, there's no way in my mind. There's no way. There are the Nikitas. Where the hell is he? I'm just, I'm going, I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck! Check this out, greatest escape of all time. <laughs> it's nothing, just a box. No! That counts as two alerts, doesn't it? Bum, 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 bum. Uh... Oh my god, I didn't save the game. Shit. Got that bird in her. Oh yeah, there's that weird lore thing where she was like raised by the alien bird people or something like that. Chief runs at the speed of a car. Chief, Chief's legs have the horsepower of like a Honda Civic at least, which might sound like nothing because I said Honda Civic, but just, just ponder the fact that his, his legs, no, no armor, no like suit upgrade, just his legs have the strength of a Honda Civic, minimum. I want you to sit with that. I want you to sit with that. Can't outrun a Warthog? He canonically can. Is the funny thing. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? When we start getting into lore, if we purely look at feats in games, then Samus has a very good case. When we're actually looking at like the characters as they are written, like with with their lore behind them, like if we start talking bird DNA and like Chief's biological enhancements and stuff, Chief Solo's no diff. We crawl, we crawl. She can duck into a ball and roll between his legs for insane damage. That's like some Tekken bear shit. Snake sees Samus a woman. Snake sees any woman. You, a uh, woman, uh, um, sex? Maybe? You have a nice butt.
has always been funny to me because it has big boss. Wait. Something like small building level with just hand to hand. I love power scaling is so goofy. I find it hilarious. Especially like, you know how there are people who will just like actively spend time on like forums arguing about power scaling. You know how people always say like talking about politics on stuff like Twitter goes absolutely nowhere because no one's going to change their mind based on something that you give them over like Twitter. No one's going to change their mind on like their favorite character winning or losing a fight based on a power scaling uh, conversation. Like genuinely no one. Like as a diehard Dragon Ball fan, one of the more recent debates is like Goku versus Saitama, right? The protagonist of One Punch Man. His lore is literally just, he is so powerful that he beats anything with a single punch because Saitama is literally written to be a parody of series like Dragon Ball. He's meant to be like satire of it, right? So as a diehard Dragon Ball fan, it's like, okay, if I'm actually looking at it, like Saitama wins. If he lands a single hit, he wins. So he most likely wins. Unless Goku immediately uses Ultra Instinct off rip, Saitama wins, right? Be careful. But you ask any act, like any other Dragon Ball fan, like go to the Dragon Ball subreddit and bring up this debate. You won't find a single person who will say that. Everyone is like, uh, Goku wins uh, because Ultra Instinct and he's galaxy level. And, and you're not, power scaling dis uh, discussions go nowhere. Everyone just immediately like off the bat chooses who they want to win and that they're sticking with it. Which is why you can't tell me that Samus beats Chief for the record, because that's who I decided wins. Uh, so that just means that's who wins. Wait a second, I don't have to wear these sunglasses anymore. I only just realized the timer went off minutes ago and I just didn't even process for some reason. Oh wait, I went to the wrong floor again. Goku beats everything. Ultra Instinct is so busted, to be fair, where like, oh, he's a. I mean, it literally is a thing where he he moves so fast. He moves at like multiple times the speed of light and his body moves for him. He doesn't even have to consciously dodge attacks. His body just autopilots away from attacks. It is such a comically overpowered state because not technically a form a state but the thing with Goku is that he's a stupid bitch <laughs> this is like the one generalization about Dragon Ball that's super off base that I actually joke around with I don't for the record think that Goku is dumb but Goku does have his one trait where he uh, he doesn't start fights at full power he starts at base and he works his way up because he wants to like feel out how strong the other person is first. What was that? I have a cold. Do I have the medicine? Did I just grab it? Where is the medicine? It's in here, right? Oh my God, don't sneeze in the box. It's a documentary. I haven't seen it. I, I know of it. I'm not going to watch it until I'm done with the Metal Gear series and probably Death Stranding. Because obviously they're going to talk a lot about them. Those are like his two really big things. So I'm not going to watch them until I've played them. Just so that I can actually like fully understand what they're even digging into there. Um... I could have sworn the medicine was in here. What about his little baby called Zone of Enders? They might bring it up. You know, they might also bring up like Snatcher and Can stuff. You, Snake? But definitely like in terms Snake, of commercial success. 
there there's there's nothing that beats out like metal gear and death stranding in terms of just i guess overall impact on like the industry and obviously his success I was early. Oh, that works. I missed it, clearly. Oh, I saw the tumor thing. For people that don't know Dragon Ball, the original timeline because there's a thing halfway through Z where the timeline changes and the actual, like, canon uh, Dragon Ball continuity is deviated from the original timeline. In the original timeline, Goku actually dies of a heart disease. Like, that, that is a genuine thing. Goku dies of heart disease in the original Dragon Ball timeline. If you didn't know, now you know. It's really funny when I'm in first person and he sneezes. Ah, oh, shit. I have the mask. Let me go grab air and then we come back. We come back. Goku Black timeline. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, that is right, isn't it? Or... Uh, I think that's right. <laughs> you ask me about Z, and I can have very long-winded conversations with you about uh, character arcs, you know, how things changed, like, behind the scenes, like how the show actually, or the manga, rather, actually ended up how it was, like, in terms of just Toriyama planning it all out and thinking through it and stuff like that. Um... Super, I've watched it like one time and it kind of sucked. <laughs> That's, super is very different. I, uh, oh, original Dragon Ball is the same way. I love original Dragon Ball too. Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. This is one fun fact that is very vital to understanding the original run of Dragon Ball. In Japan, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z were one thing. They weren't separated. Like, all of Dragon Ball Z in Japan is still just Dragon Ball. They changed it over here in the West because it was kind of like a soft reboot where everything after was so different that, like, you didn't need to watch the original Dragon Ball, so they, they, they gave it a new name and they like separated the two in the West to make it easier to sell pretty much. Um, hello, camera. Is GT not canon? GT is not canon anymore. Ever since Super came out, GT has not been canon. Same thing with Naruto, or Naruto and Shippuden. I thought, I thought Shippuden was like a reanimation of Naruto. I've never watched it. I tried to watch Naruto. Oh, I can just walk through the bookcase. That's why the camera was weird. <laughs> How do I get past the dogs without alerting them? Chat, what the hell? What do I do about these? What is it, Snake? At least during Universal Tournament. That's, it's definitely the best part of it. Oh, handkerchief. I forget that that's apparently a thing. That I haven't seen it. I haven't done it myself before. I've always gone for the piss box strat, personally. 
Mm, they sound kind of angry. The three year. Oh, it's a sequel. I, I thought it was kind of like a Z Kai thing. Oh, hello. Where it they like went back and reanimated it. Never mind then. But yeah, Dragon Ball in Japan is just Dragon Ball. And then GT and Super are separate in Japan as well. But Z and original Dragon Ball are just two halves of the same series in Japan. Like they're written as being directly, like you're supposed to watch or read through like Piccolo Jr. Like from the start to Piccolo Jr. And then there's no like separation between that and like the Saiyan arc starting. It's just you read the next chapter or you watch the next episode and the new arc starts. Didn't the Dragon Ball anime not get a Western release originally? Uh, I think it did, didn't it? I've never heard that if that's true. Now I'm a bit of a Dragon Ball nerd. <laughs> oh, for a second I, I saw the item pick up spinning and I thought it was Sniper Wolf. I was like, why is she there? Snake. Are there canonically ghosts in MGS3? I guess. There's a Chinese proverb. Because of the thing with the sorrow? Like, apparently? Probably yes? Did I not get the goddamn body armor? Shit. The original didn't show up till years later. I've actually not heard that. Z came to the States first. I know that the manga was released over here beforehand. But I didn't know that the anime never got a dub until after Z. I hadn't heard that before. Okay, so that means that this is going to be a, a shit show. I don't think I have time to go back and grab the armor. <laughs> Genuinely, I, I don't think I have the time to do that. Why do I have a grenade in my hand? What is happening? Oh, hey, it worked. I'm out. See ya, bitches. So I'm trying to think. Like, once I get to the underground facility, actually, we have time. We, we totally have time. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, spam stuns is a good idea. Hold on, I'm gonna run it back real quick. I'm gonna go get the, the armor. Oh, that's right. I shouldn't be killing there either. Two wouldn't have changed anything, but I totally would have run through and gunned everyone down. <laughs> if you hadn't reminded me. There's an elevator skip on the stairs. That sounds worth Googling real quick, potentially. For Tower A, you mean? I'm gonna need the body armor. Like, I was thinking about it. I was gonna leave it, but like, we're on hard mode. I can't die during the bosses. The Boba skip. All right, hold on. Let me go grab the armor first. How did I miss the armor? That makes no sense. I told like I went into every room, right? The boba skip is an is a must. Does it just skip to the top of the tower? I would assume. It would be even better if it, like, skipped the, the hind fight or something. A man can dream. 
It should be in here, but it's not. Chat, where the hell is the body armor? It, it is 100%. It's in the level six door down here. Oh, it skips to the runway? Oh, okay, so it doesn't skip the hind fight. It skips the repelling, though. What? Let me search Boba Skip real quick. Metal Gear Solid Boba Skip. Metal Gear Solid Speedrunning, the Boba Skip. Oh, it's from Boba. How does this work? What the? So she runs up to the level six door, right? The one that's frozen over. Glitches the stinger missile? How so? How so? Explain. Oh, the body armor spawns at the blast furnace now? Ah, oh, okay. First of all, I just watched her skip through the door and I have no idea how she did it. Second of all, what's the deal with the stingers? Because those are kind of important. For like the Rex fight. So what happens to the stingers? How did she do that? Why is this video explaining it 10 minutes long? Stinger is already glitched. What happens to the stinger? A few ways. Oh my god. So if you sit against the door and you take damage, your hitbox clips through it and it triggers the, uh, the transition into the outside, into the bridge. Wait. He's showing the chaff thing. I might just let them shoot me. This is a lot.
Okay, hold on. Let me re-listen to that bit. It only works if I get the angle like exactly right and there's no like point of reference. I just have to look at his and try to reproduce it or I can just let them shoot me. You have to learn the weapon deletion glitch for the stinger to even get the stinger. And no one has answered what happens with the stinger, I don't think. No one has answered me. What happens to the stinger? You all apparently know what you're all talking. Like everyone's in agreement. They're like, oh yeah, the stinger's already, what happened? What do you mean it's glitched? Trying to cheat for a high rank? Yes. Using speedrun skips and loading saves and all that. To skip the hind defight, you're gonna have to delete this. What do you mean? To skip it. I'll have to watch a tutorial on it once I get past the runway with the three guards. It's not currently operate. I'm going to need it for the Rex fight. It'll work for Rex? Huh? What the fuck? Oh, I pulled out the scope. I trusted that I wouldn't need the ration. I'm glad it worked. Okay. Okay. Are you okay, Snake? Snake? You can delete it from the inventory and pick it up when it respawns. What if I don't have it in my inventory? Because I don't. So why do I have to delete it? Stinger's at the top of Tower B, isn't isn't it? Isn't that where you get it? Is it just to skip the fight? Is that why? Or is it actually like broken to where it just won't work if I get it? Like if I pick it up? Thanks for punching me, dickhead. Now I have to use my ration. I don't want to use my ration, though. I get one ration for the whole playthrough. I'm going to save it until I'm in, like, a boss fight. I'm not going to use it here. If I just get the timing down for the stuns, we will be fine without it. You don't have enough health upgrades for the ammo. Ah, there, that makes sense. The health upgrades make sense.
Leave me alone. Even with Stinger. Okay, hold on. I can at least do this bit before I have to pause and look into it again. I didn't realize the chain reaction of required skips and glitches that the initial one would require. Let's see. Ha! First try. I got it to work. Look at the shorts. What shorts? The guys aren't there. What's up, Snake? Nothing much. Gather ye. Well, that's a new save file. Didn't mean to do that. Do they only spawn with the? Is the trigger for them spawning the repelling sequence? <laughs> Seems like it is. All right, hold on. Metal Gear Solid, Stinger. Mm -mm -mm. Here's a 20 second video. What? What the fuck? Wait, what? He just didn't even do it. <laughs> oh, it says in parentheses theory. Well, on comments. Uh, only 10 minute video. A plus start. Here we go. Son of a glitch. We're back. This is a 10 minute video as well, but this is like just a full showcase of bugs. Sniper Wolf. Actual uses in a speed run, namely skipping the high D and Sniper Wolf 2. Skipping the high D fight requires we don't have the stinger in our weapons inventory, which you'll barely have if you perform the vent glitch to skip ahead, or if you played normally till this point, you'll have it, but it needs to be empty. Then you first need to descend the stairs in Cons Tower B until you reach the broken stairs, and then perform the weapon glitch as you did before, this time equipping a chapter. With the glitch in effect, switch to the empty stinger and then press and hold the weapon button to equip a chapter. When it goes off, you'll see that what you actually did was throw away the stinger, and now this prevents a cutscene with Otacon and the elevator occurring. Telling us to climb Kong's Tower B uninterrupted. Once you reach the top, climb the ladder up to the high D fight, but don't go through the door as the stinger is required to beat it, and we just threw ours away, which results in us being stuck in the fight, so instead, just go back. Can you guys hear it? off oh my god <laughs> that that's the best part of the whole thing if anyone knows it like if you just know what it looks like i mean i'll do it in a few minutes but holy shit that one is hilarious okay so apparently he did the weapon deletion earlier in the video i have to go back and figure out how exactly this works oh here we go Damage quickly unequip the rations with L1 and at the same 
time press triangle to enter first person view. In first person view, match different directions on the D-pad until Snake stands up, and if you've done everything correctly, you should now be able to equip a weapon like the PSG-1. However, the observant among you will have noticed that Snake is still holding the so but this I'm gonna need to watch this like three times. Okay, that's really funny, and I wish the Sniper Wolf was active just to show it, but I need to I need to watch all that again, and then I'll I think I only need one more. Hold on. Okay, I get that bit. Now uh, let me watch the the stinger specific one one more time. Cause now I have the understanding. I gotta see the exact thing with this one. Okay, I can do that. Hold on. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I don't know why I have to go down here and trigger this cutscene for it to work, but I'll trust the process. This is certainly one way to see everything in the game. <laughs> Damn. I didn't realize that my 100% of Metal Gear Solid would involve so many speedrun tricks and so much learning, but here we are. Yeah, okay. I think I messed it up a little bit. Oh, I did miss it. Okay, 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 okay. It was bound to happen that I would miss some little piece of that. Hold on, let me grab that. There we go. Snake ragdolls. So yeah, as he ragdolls, I'm supposed to do the unequip rations and... Uh, what's it? go first person thing. I just was a little thrown off by the ragdoll. So I was like, eh, I didn't, I don't remember that happening. I thought it was maybe because of my health. I thought I would have to heal beforehand, but I don't think I should have to. I should be able to do it even with my health like this, I think. Maybe. Cause I only get one heal this run, so this is gonna be it. This is the only time I can heal during my playthrough. And it's gonna be to get this bug, but this bug is also going to skip the hind fight, so I think it's worth it. God damn it. My brain lagged. That was entirely my bad. My brain actually just like hiccuped as it went off and I did the unequip part and not the first person part. <laughs> We're doing it live. We're doing it live. It's so weird that after the torture room skip, it does that thing where like you grab it, but because you don't have the upgrades, the game is like, oh, you can't carry the ammo yet. Because I have an ammo capacity of zero. So like it says that I can't grab it, and yet it is in my inventory. It's just I can't carry. It's such a weird thing. Imagine you don't get the rank. Well, once I've got it down, and once I know how to do everything, Damn. it would be a lot quicker the second time. And because we're loading the save, 
It, we're gonna get the rank, but. Wait, the rations. Wait a second. Oh, fuck. Did it work? Oh, I, I think I, okay. I missed a step. I'm supposed to equip the chaff grenades before the grenade goes off. I forgot that part. Can't accuse stream of being pre-recorded. You can't. To be fair, I rarely get accused of it. Uh, not to say I've never been accused of pre-recording my streams, but it's, it's not as common for me as it is for some people. I don't need to have these on. I did it again where the timer went off like 10 minutes ago and I just was so caught up in what I was doing. Game's really bright all of a sudden. Okay. Other people are just, is it because I'm bad at games? Is that why? Surely that's not it. I'm, I'm a gamer and a half. Oh, the rations, shit. There's a lot to this, okay? Well, that didn't work. What, what am I missing here? What am I not doing? Wait a second. Hold on. Did he explain that the first time around? He did something there that doesn't seem random to me. Okay, no, it's not required. We give it another go. I bet the stream is pre-recorded. <laughs> I just left in all the bits of me messing it up so that you would think that it's live. I'm a genius. I'm playing chess out here, all right? Do you think it's because of the health, actually? Should I try healing ahead of time? Because the grenade won't kill me, will it? I think it'll kill me. Maybe I should try healing ahead of time. Maybe it's because it's consuming a ration that it's throwing it off. Grenade definitely won't deplete this much health. I don't think. All right, this time, this time for sure. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> that was my best attempt yet. Beautiful execution. <laughs> uh, all right, we, uh, we go again. I want this. I know how to navigate this inventory. Secretly naked? I'm not naked. I'm not naked snake either. I'm clearly not naked. I've got my very comfy, striped uh, sweatshirt on. It's genuinely, you guys know like, like that kind of like pajama material, like pajama pants. That really like fuzzy material. This is just that. It's just a sweatshirt with that same material, that same exact feel. 
It's just a really comfortable shirt. Okay, this time? This time for sure, right? We switch to the chaff. And I wait. And I do this. And then, I go to my stinger. It seems like it worked, but it's not deleting the stinger. Oh, I am supposed to cook it. Okay, I have no health. Goodbye, Stinger. Now get ready. Let's see if I remember the whole other bit. Oh shit, the turret's here. I, I gotta remember that. <laughs> there are turrets here. Oh, what the? Oh, there we go. Ah, found ya. Who needs help? Uh, me? Definitely. Like, I guess it's okay because of save scumming. But man, it's gonna be a little painful. Do I have enough chaff for this even? Joel's a trained professional, clearly. Oh, don't tell me. Okay. We're good. Chaff! Beautiful. What a clutch. Okay, so this bit, I think I remember how to do. We want to climb up the ladder to the hind fight. But then we want to go back down. We do not want to be here. And we run back down. Where's the first batch of turrets? It's clearly not here. Good guess. I don't know why I guessed with this little health, but it was a good one. I shouldn't need chaff going forward. I don't think. I don't know. There it is. Okay. So the boxes should be right around here, somewheres. Yeah. If we run down at like a certain angle, we can apparently get on top of the box. Let me see that bit again. hope we just try angles
When he does it, he runs like straight down, like along the stair railing. Come on, snake. Get your ass up there. He's not working with me. Come on, snake. Let me see it again. Yeah, he just kind of runs down. Like, almost at a straight angle. Maybe a little off? I don't know. We will find our way. I'll just wiggle the thumbstick around. We'll get there. It's possible. Don't touch the railing. One of these times, any time. against the wall. Run straight down. Hold on. This time. Shit. Some sideways stairs, then we could have a song. Can someone put on the, uh, the snake eater theme for this? Can someone uh, play the snake eater theme for me? Maybe. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna really study his angle here. He's definitely like along the railing. <sighs> we went straight over. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on to your snake eater theme. Hold on. Gotta wait until we're back. We gotta delete the stinger again first and lose all of our health. There's actually, I don't know, hold on, let me go try to find if anyone is continuing it. Someone commented on the Snake Eater video and just said, what a thrill, like dot, dot, dot. Um, and I replied, what's it? With darkness, uh, you know, you know the words. Let me see if I can find. Is anyone continuing it? <gasps> People are continuing it. They are. Hold on, let me make sure that this guy has it right. Snake eater lyrics, let me make sure. Oh my God, okay. Currently there is a comment thread on the snake eater video 
where people are just putting in the lyrics line by line uh, for the Snake Eater theme. So if anyone wants to go and continue that, if anyone wants to go find that, if not now, then later, I don't know, uh, would be appreciated. It's four bars in currently. It, it would give it enough time and they'll get through the whole song, I'm sure. Shit. Should I go back? Should I go back further? I'm gonna go back further. Is it worth it? It probably is. To go way back. Just to not get shot on the way up the stairs. It might be worth it. I don't know. I don't think it is. We're just gonna... We'll, we'll play it. Ass Eater. Did the caps blocker get disabled? No. It just kind of does what it wants, I guess. Could I also just not pick up the stinger when I walk in there? Like if I run by it, why have I not tried that yet? Why have I not tried that? Just not running over it when I go in there? Surely it's more complicated than that because people wouldn't have made like a whole skip to delete this weapon from your inventory. But what if? What if it really is as simple as just don't grab it and this entire time? Ah, we got it. Oh, uh, you need to delete it for the boxes to move. See, that makes sense. Okay, it's gone. I was like, there's gotta be a reason that I have to do this, right? Surely I can't just not grab it. Speaking of the video, I just got a comment. Is it true that MGS3 subsistence has the fixed camera angles and you can toggle between that and free cam as you please? Oh, I cut it close on that one, man. Will you save now? The stinger is bye-bye. Uh, let me, let me go up to the top, yes. Would have been helpful three weeks ago. <laughs> well, what's done is done. Been saying for weeks I was gonna play that release for, for the camera. No one ever was like, oh, the later release is still, like, you could just toggle back to the old camera angles. I mean, I guess there's, like, it doesn't really matter ultimately at that point. Yeah, it actually doesn't matter. Never mind. Although I did get more than one comment telling me that the aspect ratio of the game was wrong. In Paradise Lost. Which, it's not. People were saying that me setting it to 4x3 was dumb because I was squishing the aspect ratio. The original game was just in 4x3. I even checked it this morning after I got those comments because I'm like, there's no way I made that kind of mistake. And yeah, it, it was in 4x3. It didn't have a widescreen mode, so I, I don't know. 
Those people might have just only played like the HD versions. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what they were talking about. Um, in terms of what I'm gonna play for 100%, it really just depends on whether I decide to do Master Collection or not. Because if I do, then yeah, but if I don't, then I'm going to have to buy another version of both games. And like, So if I don't do Master Collection, which I'm only really doing for the convenience with like achievements, I saved, right? Snake looked a little slim, to be honest. It might just be... Because a lot of people have likely only replayed the game, like in recent years, on the uh, HD releases. And a combination of that and the camera angles, likely. Like seeing him from way further away instead of like up close. It might have just been a combination of the two that a lot of people who have like either only played the later versions or just only played it like in the last few years. Um, it might have made it look weird. Like it almost would have felt foreign to see it in that original version. Come on. I also double checked my emulator and I was like, did I accidentally have like a widescreen patch running with 4x3 and I didn't. So thank God. And the subsistence version. I know about the Ape Escape thing. The thing that's weird with the uh, the re-release of MGS3 is that one of the mini games got taken out and replaced with Ape Escape. Cause there is a mini game. I didn't talk about it in the, I didn't get it in my playthrough. I saved it. I know of its existence where Snake has a nightmare and like there's this weird like little like hack and slash mini game. Where you're, I think it's like you're killing zombies or some shit. I don't remember what it is exactly. But you have like hooks for weapons. Yeah, when you sleep in the torture room, exactly. At least chat told me that that got removed in later versions of the game. God damn it. It's another Konami game. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what it is. It's super weird. I saw a clip of it during the research phase and I was like, what the hell is that? Because it's not at all like the rest of the game. I think you're going insane. When I did it last time, I was like up against the railing and running straight down. I'm trying. I, I might have not been running straight down. Like I might have had the stick angled a little to the left or something. Like, I don't know. I just gotta be careful that once I get it to work, I don't overrun it again. Please, come on now. Come on, snake. Turn off the console, the mission has failed. I uh, I had a buddy send me a clip of... Uh, it was... Forgive me, VTuber fans. I do not understand the scene. It was two VTubers in one. Like, they apparently streamed together. Uh, and they were playing MGS2. And they got the call to turn the console off. And apparently the one of them who wasn't controlling the game just like reached right down to the PS2 and turned it off. 
and then they load back in and uh they <laughs> like yeah they were back to their last save and the other one was super pissed <laughs> like why did you do that i thought that was funny he sent it to me because i had just done the mgs2 video the hell is going on i am trying to glitch my way over we're doing the uh the fox slash big box uh, slash big box big boss rank run for the the last achievement that we have to do and to get the time down to be way easier We've done some speedrun glitches that have then led to like, okay, now I subsequently need to do more speedrun glitches because the one that I did broke a few things. And here we are. Here we are. I might just have to load that save now. I've spent like a good three minutes at least running up and down this time. I have not been able to get Snake up on that box. Oh my God, I had the gun in my hand. All right, I'm loading. Um, uh, you specifically to get him up on the box, you have to do it without a weapon in your hand. No, we got over the box um, the one time. I just overstepped it. Like once I was over, I kept running because I didn't process in time that I had gotten it. So now we have to do it again. But I did get up on the box. It works. You're supposed to have no weapon in your hand. And I forgot and I had the pistol in my hand the entire time. And to make up for such a silly mistake, now I'm I just loaded the save to not add like five minutes to my run just because of that. What the hell is Pushmo? Riding in the training simulation, breaking things. That's why they chose him. He has an unnatural ability to be like, oh, you put boxes in my way? All right, well, fuck you, I'm going over them. That's the part that I thought was amazing. Is that once you're up on the box to skip the elevator, you just step off to the side and plummet to the bottom. Incredible glitching. 10 out of 10. How do I skip the sniper wolf fight? Hold on, the same video mentioned that you can skip the sniper wolf fight. The second one specifically, he mentioned you could skip. I'm going back. Son of a glitch. Explain. I can't skip the sniper wolf fight. We have to fight wolf. It, we... It, <laughs> Did I save? It added crouching? Like you can move while crouched? It added crouching? Is that what you mean? Yeah. That would be nice. Would certainly be nice. Maybe, maybe Delta will add that back. What on 3DS? Snake Eater. Or MGS3, I guess. How's the saves coming going? We're on like our third speedrun glitch, Ryan. Actually, fourth, fourth speedrun glitch at this point. I'm learning so much. It's actually kind of fun to learn stuff. Like, I do these streams as, like, a follow-up for...
for the videos so that I can really get in there and get everything that I can't in like the one week that I have to do the video. And this is certainly learning everything. Learning the speedrun glitches definitely is more than I normally do. Someone mentioned the 3DS version in the comments this morning, though, because they were like, they actually had like, because they have the two screens, right? So on the bottom screen, you could just do all the menu stuff, like, without pausing. And I was like, holy shit. That is like the greatest use of the 3DS setup I've ever heard of, is taking the pausing out of Metal Gear Solid 3 by just using the bottom screen for all the menu navigation while you play. Oh, I even got up on it, but I was scared. I was scared to overstep and I ran back too far. You watched the Python consumption films? I did. I did watch the, uh, any of the little like videos that popped up, I would watch. I'm sure that I didn't get all of them. But yes, I watched him eat the snake. The what? When you're in the food menu, I got one for a snake and one for something else. I don't remember what. But when you're in the food menu, like one time, or a couple times actually, randomly, when I went to eat food, I got like a video in the menu of snake eating. Oh God, there's more and I don't have chaff. Wait, wait, I just got chaff. This is clutch. You caught snake? Actually, it's probably Talk not a good idea snake. to save in here because it'll just put me back to the top of the tower anyway. Playing it safe. I have no health. Now I'll save. What is it, Snake? This is a good spot to save, because I'm about to have to do a no damage boss fight. The proud man. I have Nikita, right? I've got 12 shots of Nikita. That will make my life very easy. I should be dead. Just right there, I should be dead. Genuinely. Not joking. I got this. No damage coming right up. There goes one of my Nikitas. How many does it take to kill her? Can't be that many. 11 should be enough, right? I would think at least. Yeah, 11 will be enough. What I should do? I'm, I probably missed the window. But you think I could get a key from Konami for the Master Collection? It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Maybe they'll be generous. Maybe 11 won't be enough? Uh, it's gonna be kind of close, to be honest. Maybe not. I don't know at this point. We just keep her going. The, uh, the sniper wolf skip was also with weapon deletion. 
so I just, I can't hit myself with a frag grenade because I've already used my heal for the run to do it the first time. Konami will have a hit list, maybe. If you did, you can't complain about Konami anymore? I definitely can. I certainly can. I know, well, it depends on the company. So if Konami wants to earn good PR, they would give me the code regardless of the shit talking about like, uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 running in 240p on the Master Collection. Like they would, they would, you know, still give a key even if it's someone who is critical of them, right? Companies certainly do, it just depends on the company. Like, I know, um, Activision does not. I know that, like, uh, a buddy of mine, a YouTube friend of mine, has talked a lot of shit about, like, the Call of Duty games over the years, and they've just stopped inviting him to events and stopped giving him, like, review copies and stuff. He used to get invited to events and get review copies, and they've stopped since he started, like, talking more negatively about the games in recent years. So I know that Activision will. They, they will take you off the list if you're critical of them. And I'm sure, you know, if I had to take a guess, like, Nintendo is probably like that. Hold on, is the body armor gonna be, like, around here? the later location for it. Does anyone know if it's around here? I don't like this room. Oh, there is a camera. Okay, I was like, are there mines in here? This is so not worth it. It's Nikita's. Sprint out. Oh, it's at the bottom of the blast furnace? Okay, I don't have to run around up here then. Well, there goes my chaff. And I saved. Oh, well. Son of a bitch. Iframes, take me through. Frank Woods, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Nothing, don't look into it. Nikita will be worth it for Raven. I go with Claymores for Raven, typically. And then Nikita, like as a cherry on top, but not as like a, not as like a main strategy, I guess. I've still got some, some kills. I could kill this guy and be fine. Maybe I don't need to. I'm going to. Worth it. I just don't like where he's placed. Oh, Claymore without radar? I feel like Raven without radar in general is about to be a shit show. Like just Raven without radar in the first place is going to be terrible. There's a glitch here too. Where is the body armor? Cause that's gonna go a very long way with me not being able to heal anymore. Oh, that hurts. Great. Solid Snake or Sam Fisher? Uh, I don't know. That's the armor. Worth it. I mean, it actually was worth it. I got it without taking damage. It just scared me. Actually, don't know. 
I feel like lore-wise, probably Snake. But if we just looked at the games, like just pure gameplay stuff, very clearly the Splinter Cell games are stealthier. They're much more stealth game than Metal Gear is. Metal Gear is like a stealth game. I've talked about it before. Metal Gear is a stealth game that like half the time isn't really a stealth game. Like there's just so much mandatory action. Oh shit. You guys are mandatory and I'm insta dead. Is the glitch to skip this elevator? It's espionage. Yes, of course. Okay. Let's see if it's in this video. The son of a glitch video. Hold on. One, it's assigned to Keith. This next glitch is a PC version exclusive, as in this version, there are hot keys assigned for each weapon using the number keys. Once you have the PSG one, it's assigned to key zero, and we need another weapon key like the chaff grenades on key nine, which is conveniently right next to zero, to cancel out the animation of Snake equipping the PSG one. So by pressing zero and then nine immediately after, it may not be noticeable, but Snake is now in a glitch state known as GME or God Mode exploit. And there are two versions of this. Did you guys hear that? Is that too much? That's too much. In this first version, GME 1, Snake is now unable to take damage, which is obviously very useful, but there is a trade off in the fact that he also won't be able to interact with objects such as buttons or patterns. That's it's too much, right? And when you want to restore Snake, definitely. That's the last glitch in the video, it seems. Yeah, it is. That is... That is cursed knowledge that I probably will not take advantage of unless I absolutely need it. With the door at the entrance of the blast furnace? Shit, fuck. It allows you to completely skip the traversal. Like just this bit, you mean? Like the crawling across? That's fine. This is fine. Like that could be a nice, like small time save. But I don't need it. If it was like an elevator skip there, I would have done it. We've skipped like half the game. Is God mode really too much? It's probably too much. Unless I just get to something that's like actual impossible bullshit. But we do have it to fall back on, just saying. We do have it to fall back on if it's like absolutely mandatory. Other than that, I will not. I definitely will not. Who's that? Definitely. But say if like this elevator is just completely, totally impossible without it, just because of like the health and everything. And maybe, I can't get away from that, I've tried. What's the point of breaking the game if you don't go all the way through? I feel like God mode is too much breaking. Like little little skips and stuff to get the time, you know, that's fine. But making it so that I just flat out can't take damage? You just run through it. Question. Does this glitch involve me using a grenade or anything to like 
clip myself through? Does it involve any self-damage? Because if it does, I cannot afford it at this point. But if it doesn't... Could be nice. Okay, hold on. Wait, this time he went... I could get past both of these without getting shot. I will save. Ooh, I did. Why? Thumbsticks in the menus. I hate them. I've talked about it before. I hate using thumbsticks in menus. But this port just uses the movement keys to navigate the menus. So it's thumbstick or nothing. Good thing I just saved. This makes the elevator much more possible as well. What? He just, okay. I gotta slow it down. He just is going to immediately see me if I run by while he's in that state. That makes sense, actually, that he would see me there. Now that I'm looking at it, yeah, that, I can see why. Snake versus Sam Fisher deathmatch is really well made. I feel like Snake definitely wins with like the in-universe lore. But if you do just like, if it's one of those things where you only look at like the gameplay and you just kind of eyeball it, just go with your gut. I feel like a lot of people would be inclined to say that fam, eh, fam, that Sam Fisher wins because he's clearly sneakier. Like clearly he's the guy who actually uses stealth more effectively. <laughs> Fuck me, how did I do this twice in a row? Just breezed right through before I saved here. What happened? I didn't kill him. New plan. Maybe it works if I go right away. Sam Fisher doesn't use a box. Sam Fisher uses a lot of things that Snake doesn't. Like light he, he's like a ghost no snake is not sneakier snake gets his ass caught all the time it's not even like a genetically enhanced thing like in this game even you know how bad it is in this game they know where he is the entire time they're just tracking him the whole time and letting him think that he's sneaky. It's like letting your toddler win a game. Obviously, Snake has other adventures outside of this game, but to go with the extreme example, <laughs> like they actually know just the entire time. They know where he is throughout the entire game. Why? Why did you turn around? What the fuck? Why? He didn't do that before. Why not blow up the crane? Would it raise the alert? I don't need the glitch. We'll be through here so fast. Ne oh, I thought it would have been long enough for him to look away. Probably would. I would assume an explosion would uh would maybe raise an alert. Johnny, thank you for the sub. We appreciate it. 
Like, once I get through this room, I, I can save and we don't need to come back. Which is the only reason that I'm like, I don't really need to look up a glitch to get through it. I should be able to get through this. It's just that I'm dumb. At least not in uh, in his first three outings. Solid Snake, specifically. Naked Snake seems a lot sneakier, for sure. Snake in MGS2 seems a lot sneakier as well, to be fair. The snake just somehow Actually, does he? I don't know if he does. Until the palkey. When I come back with the palkey, I only have to stand at like the bottom part. I don't have to go like go back across the crane is what I mean. Like I can just stand on that little platform down there. We're talking about solid snake. Yeah, just solid snake, right? We're not talking about like all versions of snake, are we? MGS2 Raiden or Metal Gear 1 and 2 Snake? I'd have to say Raiden. Probably. Raiden gets into less, like, mandatory fights in MGS2 than Snake gets into in Metal Gear 1 and 2. Like, in all honesty, Snake is getting caught all the damn time in Metal Gear 1, 2, and Solid. I mean, solid, like, Liquid and Ocelot just know where he is at all times for the entire mission in this game, but... In, in Metal Gear 1 and 2, he still, like, gets into a lot of fights in those games. Damn. Damn. Did I save? Oh yeah, this is, this is such a shit show right here. Oh, this is such a shit show. Oh, I'm so boned. I, I pressed the buttons in the wrong order. I didn't save, did I? Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Snake is getting caught because his cheeks are clapping everywhere he goes. Yeah, the, the clap of his ass cheeks. I didn't want to save. No save. I did not save. Like once I got through. Oh, that's true. No, the Patriots are tracking Raiden and leading him as well. At that point, we just can't really get a comparison between the two. We've seen Snake in events where they're not tracking him. Actually, we've only seen that once. Oh my god, we've only actually had one. At least I, I haven't played MGS4. I know that that's Solid Snake again. But in terms of his first three outings only one of them is done in an environment where he's not being tracked the entire time metal gear one big boss is just like leading him through the place step by step and then is surprised when snake actually pulls it off uh metal gear 2 he's not like metal gear 2 is all natural and then Metal Gear Solid, he's being tracked the entire time and they're letting him through. And then Metal Gear Solid 2, Raiden, the, the Patriots are doing the whole thing. Oh, I, I did just find the God Mode glitch a few minutes ago. I have decided not to Master. use it. I accidentally called Miller again. 
Unless I get to a spot where it's like, genuinely, I cannot do this without God mode. Oh my God. Naked Snake is also being tracked. That one's a little different. Only the boss is tracking him in there. And she didn't even relay that info to anyone else. The boss is the only one tracking him in that game. And no one else even knows that she is. That's a little different. I'm dead. Everyone is tracking everyone. Uh, Snake's Revenge. He's not being tracked. Hear me out, chat. Snake's Revenge, he's not. Think about it. Think about it. Snake's Revenge was all natural. It's not canon. Bullshit. It's canon to me. You can't tell me that John to Snake isn't real. He's real. Definitely. You move. It actually just doesn't move. It stays on the item. Thanks, Kojima. What's up, Snake? Oh, nothing much. In China, they I remembered the body armor this time. Big Boss is tracking him in Snake's Revenge. <sighs> For half of it, right? Once you kill, uh... John, he has no way of tracking you anymore. At the very least. John Turner. Best character in the Metal Gear franchise, definitely. Why do you bitches have so much health? Who, who gave you all this to work with? Oh God. This is awful. Listen to me, what? Huh? You said Big Boss is tracking Snake and Snake's Revenge. Which is true. Kind of. Oh, listen to you now. There he is. Run towards the guard and throw them over your shoulder off the elevator? That's a thing that I can do? I don't have the health for this. I don't have the health for this strat. This isn't MGS3, I actually take damage. I can actually die in this game. Hold on. This time. Shit. Ow, they can shoot me while I'm on the ground? Jesus Christ. Hold on. Surely this works. 
It has to. It has to work. I just take so much damage. Shit. Oh, there's one. Shit. He's just in the middle. Can't use rations. I cannot. You get one for the playthrough, and we already used it doing the uh, weapon deletion earlier. I'm not allowed to use rations. Thank you, Snake. Oh my god. Huh. Works for me. Bullshit, he's not over. There's one. Da, da, da. This time. This rank is stupid. <laughs> I've decided this achievement is bogus. How do you do three hours naturally with no heals and no deaths? Like without save scumming it and without glitches and skips, how do they think you're gonna do this? How do they think, like what? what is this rank? What is this? with a box and a lot, no patience. You only have three hours for the whole game. What, what do you mean patience? Patience is not a luxury you can afford. I guess maybe if you did a hard mode normal playthrough and you went in with camo. But my dumbass didn't realize. Like the plan was to use optical camouflage for this until I realized after we got the camo that I had to start a new save file to raise the difficulty. Then I was like, oh shit, I actually just have to get good for this. I believe in Metal Gear 2 you couldn't defeat Big Boss in hand-to-hand -hand because he has better CQC. I think it's just because he has too much health, I've got in all honesty. I mean, I never tried to punch the guy, but I think there's just, he has too much health and you have not enough heals. Because if you're trying to punch him, you're not gonna be able to avoid the damage enough. Not in, um, not in Metal Gear 2. It's just not built like that. It is about that time. But I got up to the Raven fight and... I've definitely got like at least an hour on the in-game timer. He has a gun. Yeah, I don't think he will melee you back. I've never tried it, but I'm pretty sure he'll just shoot you anyway. But head cannon is fun. Uh, it is about that time. I gotta get back to the next video. And I also gotta eat dinner first. I'm hungry. I'm really hungry, actually. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy and you haven't done so already, feel free to go ahead and leave a sub. Come back another time. Oh, tomorrow! Um, I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. I have to double check myself, but I think tomorrow uh, the new Street Fighter character comes out. Uh, Ed comes out for Street Fighter 6, and he actually looks great. So I think I'm playing Street Fighter tomorrow, if I'm right about that on stream, which I haven't played Street Fighter 6 since like a, a month after it came out, so it's been a minute. It's definitely going to be a shit show with how I am at fighting games, but it'll be a good time. Mate, whoa. My own stream just started blasting out of my phone because <laughs> I closed the other thing that I had open. 
Um, yeah, also, if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like on stream, algorithm stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, Metal Gear Solid 3 review did go up this morning. Uh, I have the playlist for all the Metal Gear reviews in the pinned comments. So if you just haven't seen any of them that you might particularly want to go and watch, those are all there. Um, if you're looking for things like Twitter or Discord server, whatever, those are in the description. Other than that, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys back here next time. I hope you all have a rest of your day. Thank you for coming to the stream. And goodbye.